So this tutorial is going to be um, another scrap busting one um, using scraps that you've got to make faux stamps. Faux stamps I find are really addictive. I think I've made them more than any other type of handmade ephemera for junk journals but I just, ah, they're just addictive and so, so quick and so easy and so fun to do. So um, I'm using scrap paper and I've raided my fussy cuts and these are pieces that I have already stuck something down on and will shortly turn into stamps and these are the ones that I've just got the fussy cuts I'm just going to glue them down now and as you can see from these ones I don't always have to have the whole of the image on display so I'm quite happy to um, cut the image down just um, because I like that kind of effect. I think it makes things a bit more interesting. Now I would recommend if you can uh, proofreading your <laughs> sheets uh, just because I once did a really really pretty stamp with um, a very elegant lady on it and the word balls was really clearly next to her face so uh, yeah just, uh, <laughs> just something to bear in mind uh, that you might want to do that and just uh, read through it. So those are stuck down for now. I also have these scrappy bits so that's coffee dye, tea dye and avocado dye. So what I'm going to do with these is I'm literally going to cut them down. Now you can do this in a number of ways. You can hand cut like this. You can use um, other ways of cutting like I've got um, a rotary cutter. So that's something you can do. It depends. So I'm just going to show you the different ways. So this is just a hand cut one. And I'm going to ink the edges just so they stand out a bit. And this is just a bit of vintage photo. Okay. And decide which one I think it looks nicest on. So. Okay. Now in order to get the edges crimped, um, I've got these which are scallop edged and I literally just turn them upside down like that to cut with them and I just do one, two, three, Now obviously you can embellish these more, you can do a little bit of stencil work in the back. If you've got like number stamps you can put first or second or whatever you like. If you've got um, postage mark stamps you can then stamp them on top. Um, but it's just um, a really, um, really good way of using up a little scrap and of making um, an extra bit of embellishment. So the other way of cutting is if you have a cutting board. I'm just going to wobble the camera terribly there, sorry. And you can literally decide where you wish to cut. One, two. Now this is one where I don't want to have all the bits, so I'm literally going to line these up, cut, cut. There you go. And I like the way it looks when you, excuse me, I like the way it looks when you have um, that kind of, you've got part of the image but you don't have the whole of it. And I just, it's just one of those things that pleases me when it's, it's off centre. And then a little bit of inking. Stick this down. I'm just using Yoohoo stick for that. I mean, if I was doing this um, without filming it, I'd literally stick them all down, wait for it to dry, and then I would um, be cutting these out. If you do not have scallop edge scissors, one of the things you can do 
is you can use pinking shears, which a lot of us have. Um, and then what I've seen some people do is literally just cut the tips off. So you get that will very good. I don't know if you can see it against that, maybe against this. And you just get that different kind of edge. Oh, there you go. Nice reflection, a uh, shadow from the sun. So that's um, how you can make really quick faux stamps using up scrap text pages, scrap and dyed paper um, and some of your fussy cuts. Because if you're into junk journaling, I'm going to guess that you've got quite a lot of fussy cuts there that you could use up. Anyway, hope you found this useful and enjoyable. Thank you.